All right, so this video right here is gonna be about this waiver I know. His name is Chris. Say hi, Chris. So this video is not gonna be about that one time I recorded his haircut and it turned out uh, absolutely well. No, this is two different videos. The first try, how I made a massive mistake on the first try. I patched this 360 waiver. I had to cover it up a little bit with a little tss -tss. You know why? Because I patched him up. You know when you have a hole in a tie and you patch it? I had to patch the patch. Oh, and we're also gonna go a little bit against the grain, but don't worry about that right now. We're gonna focus on the patch. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna get started with this wide tooth comb, okay? Like as you can see, you know, it, it's not, it's nothing crazy. We were just gonna go ahead and cover all the sections, comb it with the grain, guys, with the grain, and follow the pattern. Super important. Don't try to go and do something uh, that's uh, against what direction those waves are going. And we're gonna use the one and a half fabulous guard. Um, and I'm going the safe route, open, okay? Typically, he would he would go for a two and I, I remember us going with a two before but hold up now hold up zoom in a little bit Fonz come on look we are officially RIPing this pattern but look I didn't know I didn't know you know when it comes to this there's only so much you can do as a barber I'm in a situation where I kind of don't even want to let him know yet Chris like um like you looking good the, the waves are, the waves are, are popping bro um but uh I patched you. What? Now, like I said before, guys, esta es la, la primera vez que lo recorté. And this video is more about the second time. So um, let's let's focus more on the second time and fast forward the first time, shall we? now y'all see these two items so we're setting it up we're getting close up and starting to apply apply pressure lo ve mira eso apply it un poquito aquí un poquito allá refill reload dale okay hold up now mira espérate este vamos a darle un momento ahí porque like i said before like we patching the patch and so like just need you to understand like sometimes in life you know you gotta you gotta learn from your mistakes and 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 you know i'll repeat to that to that pattern you know like it was never the same for about two weeks i just want to add real quick how amazing this angle is and even the color I went ahead and started dabbling with color grading. I never color grade. So I just want to let y'all know, I'm trying my best to go above and beyond. That's why the colors are kind of all over the place in this video. You know, I just want to leave it as the prototype, as the video, letting you know I'm working on color grading and I just want to put it out there. Mefui. Shout out to Nate for uh, um, letting me Supplying me with a little oil sheen, you know, <laughs> we all supply each other with stuff in this barbershop You know, I, I have products you grab my products. I grab your products. I have a blow dryer You grab my blow dryer. Uh, well, that's not my blow dryer. It's actually Dre's blow dryer, but we all share Dre's blow dryer Jay his finna drop the bass By the way, he also has a little spot in the back, in the back of the back of the back, back, back. I personally believe the shampoo and styling has something to do with it and the do-rag being there real tight. 
But that's not what we're here for, guys. We're here to correct a wrong. And the wrong is that little light spot that you see right there. As you see that little space right there. We paused up. We close up. We zoom in. It's light. Different shades, but that's the best I could do. And I wasn't gonna overdo it with the with the color enhancement. I mean, it's it's one thing to cover it up and finesse, but it's another thing to finesse too much. And you don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and see what else we can do on the second run, baby. Dale. You waited a long time again, I could tell. You got a wolf. I could see it through the do-rag. Through the silk, I see the pattern. Mira esto. We are going to do something better this time. And not only are we going to do it better, we're going to add on a few things. We're going to add on a little pressure, a little against the grain. But don't worry about that. We're going to get to that. We're going to worry about making sure he's prepared and I'm prepared. Y'all see that? That's straight pressure. That is full on wolf, straight pressure on the, on the, on the bands on the bands. Keep on telling this man. Stop waiting so much time, bro. You don't have to wait that much to get even a taper. You can woof. Look, if you have 360 waves and you wait about two to three months like he does, you don't have to not get a taper. You can still get a taper. Look at that. I'm using the number two. I'm using the number two detachable. I, I, I'm using the, uh, the octanes, by the way. And by using that, I'm going ahead and Creating, I'm having a little fun with it. To, to be honest, you don't got to do this like that. I was just, you know, possibly dabbling with a, with a thumbnail, potential thumbnail. So why not? We are focused on preserving an area that we previously had an issue with. Did we not? Remember? But you know, right here we're using the number three with the grains. I took the two detachable blade and only went to a certain section and stopped. Oh, wait a minute, hold up, y'all didn't know. Not only am I using the seniors, mi gente, they're corded. I'm using my old school corded seniors. You know why? Because the cordless were tripping a little bit and I didn't have time to fix them. So I had to bring out the, the old faithfuls and, and it came through, kind of sucks. Maybe if you guys want me to, I'll make a video on it. But we're not gonna focus on the fact that I'm using a corded clipper. We're gonna focus on the fact that we're using a higher guard to preserve that area. This is when having new tools that you've never used before in the game get a little bit out of control. I started bringing out that little feather razor uh, early on in this procedure, in this haircut, in this service. Oh, and I'm sorry that it looks a little bit reddish here again. I was dabbling with the color grading, got a little out of hand. What can I say? Man, I gotta admit, a high taper looks solid on Chris. I think, if I'm not mistaken, Chris never asked for a high taper before. I think he used to like to keep the C cup. And ladies and gentlemen, the C cup is just not for him. As your barber, Chris, I highly suggest you stick to a high taper. It just looks so much cleaner. You don't need that C cup. Look, everybody, the C cup is not made for everybody, bro. Even though your name starts with a C, you don't need the C cup. And keep it fresh, bro. Start coming in more often. It's when it's so long that it even starts over curling and it even starts coming out of the do-rag. 
that you know, you should know, even before then, you should know, bro, it's a little bit too much. So, by the way, we're going against the grain for the hairline. Me, gente, listen to me. You want that hairline to be laying down completely. Don't feel bad to bring it down lower than everything else. Think of it as the same principle for the back lineup. You know how it's supposed to be a little bit tighter around there so you can get a nice crispy lineup? The same applies for the hairline. Please, guys, do not leave that area thick for somebody that does waves that hair is going to be real real thick because it's a lay down fro so wait go ahead get a lower guard well hold up now hold up let me just tell you this if, if you're gonna go ahead and use a lower guard make sure you go with the grain now if you go a high guard and against the grain like how i started it off with the three worked my way down to a two then a one and a half and each time you're going a little bit you're going up a little bit less. It's like the higher guard, you go a little bit high, then lower guard, midway, then it's like fading down. Tu sabes, it's like fading down. You know what I'm talking about. You've been here, coño. You know what I'm talking about, right? Like, that's that's what I'm talking about. So don't don't forget. For some of y'all, this might be too much and torturous to watch, but we gotta get through this together. Let's lock arms and get through this together. And while we do that, go like this to the like button, but let's keep going. Look, we're gonna go ahead and um, use the number five against the grain. Start high, go low, but you know, and that's just right, but you know that going high against the grain is nice and safe. And sometimes when it's when you're dealing with a swirl or what, I mean, he's trying to develop a swirl. It's not necessarily a swirl. It's more geared towards going for a beehive. But nevertheless, you don't want to go the wrong direction with the grain and patch that man. Look, we already patched him here. We absolutely do not need to patch him up there. So we're going to use a high guard. And numero cinco, work our way down. Y después, we're going to be almost done. It's been a journey, bro. It's been a journey. Look, everybody give it up for Chris for, for, for being one that would drive a distance and not only drive a distance, has driven a distance to get patched and still come back. Look, look, just understand it gets real in this wave game. We woof. I said we like I'm woof. Look, I'm not in the wave. I still feel like I'm in the game. Y'all think I should come to the game? Y'all think I should come back to the wave game? I'm just saying, because I think I'm gonna come back. Nah, I can't do it. Ah, let's get back to Chris. Look, 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 look. Everybody, give it up for the 360 waiver that overwoofs with a baby face. Give it up for Chris. Yeah, his finna drop the face. Crispy. 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 Me entendiste? Crispy. Hope you guys are having a great year so far. I know I am and things are about to get serious. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm an educator now in the Tune 45 Academy. So make sure if you want to learn a little bit of what I know, make sure you check it out. Uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Sign up. J -H -O -R.